The purpose of this video is to determine which prop and brushless motor combination work best for our one cell LiPo brushless motor power system using such batteries as this 240 milliamp hour Hyperion, this 160 milliamp hour Hyperion, this 160 milliamp hour Turnigy Nanotech. We're going to be using a 3 amp ESC also from Hobby King and we're going to be testing two kinds of motors. One of them is this 7500 kV brushless motor and it has red windings and then it'll be another one which is a 4000 kV brushless motor and it will have gold windings. They're both from uh, Hobby King and they're both AP03 motors. Hobby King also carries a AP05 which is a little bit heavier so we're not going to be testing that one because it's a little bit too heavy for our aircraft but it is a good motor and some people use it it gives a little more thrust but just keep in mind it is heavier so hopefully we'll be able to find the combination of prop and brushless motor that will work with these little batteries and give us the most efficient use of current and enough thrust for our aircraft so we're going to be doing some thrust testing with our one cell brushless power systems using our homemade thrust gauge which uh, has a control board made with a PIC processor to replace the receiver and the radio. And I made it. John made it. And uh, you can check out my channel sometime soon. You'll, you might see a video. Yeah, that's jmerk77. Yes. Okay, now what we have here is our data chart that we're going to be filling out. I just wanted to run over the components. We're going to be using an a Hobby King 3 amp ESC right here and the first motor is going to be the Hobby King AP03 7500 brushless motor that's this next the next testing will be done with a 4000 okay we're going to be using uh, the Hyperion 25C 240 milliamp hour battery it's a one cell and these are the props we're going to be testing we're going to, we're going to be testing a 3020 a 4025, a 4040, a 4540, a 4030, and a 5030, and we're going to be measuring RPM, current, and amps, and thrust, and grams. And so let's get started. This is with the 3020 prop and the 7500 kV AP03 brushless motor. Yeah, I'm going to clear this. All right, here we go. Go. We tested the rest of the props on the 7500 kV brushless motor in the same manner that we tested the first prop. And these are the results that we got. The first thing to note is that the currents were mostly over 3 amps except for the 3020. However, the 3020 didn't have a lot of thrust. It looks like the 4030 is a good match and probably the 4025. You can use your own judgment on which one to use with this 7500 kV brushless motor. Now we're going on to test the AP03 4000 kV brushless motor which has the gold windings instead of the red winding. And we have a 3020 prop on there. Ready? Ready. I'm getting 24 and it looks like 116. Okay, we've completed all the testing for the video and we went through and tested the rest of the props on the AP03 4000 kV brushless motor in the same manner as we tested the 3020 prop. And these are the results. As you can see, the current was uh, under 2 amps 
and this is less than what we got with the 7500 kV brushless motor. Also the thrust is a little less. But I think with our uh, intent to use these smaller batteries, the smaller currents are what's important. Now let's look at both charts together. On the Champ I chose the 5030 prop with the APO3 4000 KV brushless motor and it seemed to work quite well. Quick on the launch there. Seems to be flying pretty good. I'm going to have to make another pass. It still wasn't low enough throttle. I'm below half throttle now. And it's still staying Could up there. Could you glide it? Alright. I'll come around and one more time and I'll do a glide. Here we come. Ready? Prop off. Mm -hmm. So it worked pretty well.